Welcome back. Today on Dialed In DIY, we've got a red hot decoration that's perfect for just about any outdoor activity. Whether entertaining friends or just hanging around outside, this project is designed to answer a few key questions, including some great viewer questions that I got from Jovan. So we're going to continue with this build and look at some different alternatives to these past videos. We're going to dial in these two small and large torch decorations and come up with a new approach. For this torch, the key difference that you might find from some of the other projects is the actual bottle that we're using because we're making this to go with a theme. These red hot bottles are a little bit thinner in nature and I'm going to add this fish tank gravel, red, to the bottom of them. It's going to add a couple of benefits that we need. One, it gives it some weight for safety and stability and two, it allows us to use a little less fuel. The added benefit to the red gravel is it makes it look like it still has hot sauce in the bottle. In many of my previous torch videos, I've used primarily repurposed parts, but for today's build, I am using a couple of purchased items, including this copper reducing coupler. In the past on larger bottles, I've used a one half inch by three quarter inch coupling, but to match this particular kind of a build, I'm using this fiberglass wick and I need a slightly smaller coupler for this slightly smaller bottleneck. For this spicy torch, we're dropping it down to a one half inch by three eighths inch coupling. You'll notice that both ends of this copper piece slide really easily in and out of the bottle and we're gonna have a fix for that in just a second. The actual creative quick fix for the copper coupler is plumber's tape. You're just going to pull this loose and wrap it around the wider part of the coupler quite a few times just to build up some thickness and then pull it tight at the end which will help it to seal against itself. It's not a bad idea to check the fit and make sure it is kind of snug before you add the fuel because it's easier to add more tape or take some back off before you have it covered in fuel. Wanted to give this a little bit more of a strained test to see if there are any burn condition issues with it. So it's about a quarter of the way full with the gravel and then only about another quarter of the way full with fuel. It should get really easy to light once the wick is wet and a quick strike of the match proves that right. The flame kicked in perfect right away, gave off some great light. The citronella scent actually is great for warding off some bugs and after rolling for a couple of minutes, even with a good breeze, this continued to burn really well. You will note that there is some smoke coming off the top and that's because of the amount of wick that's exposed. If you want to reduce that, just put it to a little bit shorter of exposed wick and you'll get a lot less smoke. Safety is really important on a project like this, so I highly encourage you to run a test of your torch before you get it into a party or get together kind of a scenario. Let it run for a couple of minutes, then check the heat carefully with your fingers around the neck of the bottle. If it's really hot, extinguish your torch immediately. The last thing you want is for the glass to get so hot that it actually cracks or breaks, which could create a big fire problem. So you always wanna make sure you're prepared with a fire extinguisher at the ready, just in case. Prepare for the worst, that way you'll always be ready in case something goes south. Towards the end of the video, I do have some more important safety considerations, plus some additional options that you can do for adjusting your design to make it extra safe as well. You'll notice that I do keep checking the glass temperature on a regular basis. If it were to get too hot, I would extinguish it and then make some adjustments. The first change I would attempt would be to reduce the amount of exposed wick because that will reduce the amount of heat that's getting transferred to the glass. If that didn't work, I would increase the distance between the flame and the glass by getting a bigger or longer copper coupler. You'll notice that on my setup I have just about maybe a little bit more than a quarter of inch of exposed wick and this has allowed a great flame. It also meant that the glass didn't get too hot which was fantastic. On your build you do want to check it out though because your conditions may transfer more heat to the glass. From a test perspective I would say that this setup worked perfect. The particular wick pulled the fuel up just like a straw to the flame and it burned perfectly without any major significant change in the size of the flame. I like to use these as accent lighting on the periphery of a get together or outside activity just for extra safety. Like I've said before, keep a fire extinguisher ready and be prepared for the worst. 
Greet them just like a candle or any other open flame and make sure they're where people won't bump them or they're not next to things that can catch fire. For extra safety, I like to take another decorative container with some sand in it and set these down inside. It helps to create a really nice tropical feel. If you're interested in some more test scenarios, I did exaggerate my conditions and create another short video, which I will post soon. Thanks for stopping by Dialed in DIY today and checking out my video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, let me know with a thumbs up. Please feel free to subscribe while you're here, and come on back and check out future Dialed in DIY videos. Also, linked in the description below are other videos that I mentioned here today.